Hi, this is Paul Gallimore and welcome to the third part of my series of videos on how to put headers and footers into a novel or other long documents. In the previous two parts, or in the last part, we discussed putting footer numbers in the footers of the document so we've covered that and how to make the numbers run on sequentially from one part of the document or from one section of the document to another and in this final video we're going to look at headers now in the first video I discussed the kind of uh, requirements that a novel typically has and probably other books as well whereby you very often don't want anything in the front matter of the book uh, in the pages where you have for instance the copyright information table of contents and any acknowledgments and other notes dedications and so on you typically don't want headers and uh, numbers in that s first section of the book but once the chapters start you do want numbering and you do want header information and in a novel what you would typically want is not always the the design is up to you but you may very well want nothing in in the header of the page one of, of the of each chapter or the first page of each chapter but on subsequent pages you may decide to have odd and even pages where on for instance the even page you might like to have the book's title and on the odd page you may like to have the author's name or you might like to have a running chapter title so in this video we're going to have a look at how to do that um, so what we've also discussed in previous videos is to pay attention to the tabs that you see in at the t uh, in the header and footer areas so in this view that I have I've got I'm looking at a lot of stuff on the screen maybe I should change it for the purpose of the video so let me uh, change the view to uh, say two page view here we are so this is looking at the front matter section nothing in the headers and footers uh, and we want to start putting header information into the chapters so if we look at the top of chapter one page one of chapter one uh, we see that there is nothing uh, there's no link there's no same as previous tab at the top there so uh, so we should be good to put in the book's title so if I put in there the Mary Celeste papers that should then run on through the novel through the rest of the novel but because there's no same as previous it shouldn't be up here in the front matter which it's not it's not it's not appearing in section one, section one but it does go onwards throughout the rest of the novel so that's a good thing now there's the question of the odd and even pages so to make that happen I'll just click up here in the header of page one I'll come up into the design tab and you see here there's a box different odd and even pages I'll check that and now if you look at the uh, the tabs at the top of the headers let's go down to the next one you see here on this tab it says even page header section 2 and on the opposite side there odd page header section 2 and you will also notice that um, because I put my header why is that yeah that's right because I put my uh, book title on an odd page which was page one of chapter one and because I've turned on different odd and even pages that header is now in just the odd pages it doesn't appear in the even pages that will be the same throughout the book so that is exactly what I wanted but what I didn't want was to have anything at all in the header although that's where I put my header there I don't actually want anything in the header of chapter one or any other first page of a chapter so to get rid of it from the first page of the chapter I click in that header for chapter one and again up in the uh, design 
tab of the ribbon there's a box that says different first page so if I tick that it disappears from my first page of the chapter but you see it's still in all the other odd pages of that chapter now if we carry on we'll see if it's still there we are it's it is still on the first page of chapter 2 which I don't want so I need to click in that box and say different first page again and that gets rid of it from the top of chapter 2 and I will have to do that for every chapter in the book so that's a manual thing going through telling it that the first page of the uh, section is to be different from the rest but I'm sure you're capable of doing that so that's something we've got sorted out so let's go back up to our chapter 1 again there we are chapter 1 uh, no header on the first page there is a header on the third page on the first even page now I want my running chapter title so my chapter title is Francine's Place in Fulham so if I put that in and I'm going to italicize that because I saw it like that in another but make sure it's centered I want it centered and italicized I just copied this idea of an italicized running chapter headings and uh, capitalized book title running throughout the book so now let's go through see that's the same for each odd and even page in this chapter but what happens when I get to the next chapter still got no heading there which is on the first page which was what I wanted but of course my running um, chapter title has now run in to the next chapter which is something I don't want so I need to unlink for the first even page of the chapter I need to unlink that from the previous uh, even page in, in, in the earlier section so I click in this header for the uh, even page of section 3 I come up to the design tab and I go I click on this toggling button link to previous so that, that we see the same as previous tab has gone from my even pages and I can now put in the title for this chapter which is Francine's room now let's go back to section 2 or chapter 1 and we see Francine's place in Fulham is still running through that chapter now we come into chapter 2 we've still got the Mary Celeste papers the the books title running through the odd pages but now we've also got the second chapter title running through this chapter and I have to do that of course for every chapter in the book in fact I think I'm on to the next I think that last chapter was a short one yeah so for this chapter here which is chapter 3 uh, section 4 of the book but chapter 3 I need to come to the first uh, even page click in the header toggle it off to toggle off the same as previous tab so that tab is gone now and I can put in the chapter title uh, the wayside shed so that's uh, that's so go back and look at the previous chapter we, uh, the, the running title is Francine's room there in chapter 2 um, I need to turn off I've just noticed here that I need to turn turn off the uh, I, I need to click on different first page to get rid of the unwanted book title on the first page of chapter 3 coming down though I see I've got my new cha running chapter title going through the the uh, the heading for this chapter and I've still got my book title on the odd pages so that's exactly what I want uh, I see at the bottom here my page numbering is no longer centered uh, that's something that I've got to fix this is the kind of thing that happens so you'll need to fix things like that just make sure everything is still centered the way you what have I got to do go up to home and click on center no it doesn't like that It's probably because it's in this box thing um, 
yeah and then I've got to put the number in and center it again but anyway you get the idea for putting headers and uh, and footers in you also get the idea how things go wrong there and you have to keep going back and and correcting them um, one other thing that I'll show you is uh, let me just put that number back in Okay, what I had to do to put the number back in, which suddenly decided to uh, go off to the right and disappear, was to come up into page number, go to bottom of page and select uh, the plain page number centered. So that's now back in. So everything is now looking as I want it to. But there was one other thing that I mentioned in one of the other videos, which was that I wanted to design this book so that the first page of each chapter was going to be an odd number and it was going to be on the right hand side. So let's just see if that has panned out that way. So if we come up to this document map and so using the document map to rapidly go through the chapters to look at uh, the page numbers for the first page of each chapter we see chapter 1 page 1 chapter 2 is page 9 chapter well chapter 3 is 13 4 is 27 5 39 6 is 59 but as as we get to chapter 12 what we see is that is page 182 so that's an even number that's not what i wanted and if you remember in in the first video when i broke these up into sections i asked for uh sections with odd numbered pages so that appears not to have worked and it'd just be interesting to note actually if we turn on the show hidden characters what the section uh, break before page 12 is defaulted as see it's changed I uh, you can see up here it says section break next page I actually asked for a section section break odd page but because it's fallen on an even page it's just changed the section break type so that is not as I wanted so so what I've got to do to to get things back on track is uh, click here in my page after my last sec or after or before my last uh, section break and put in a an extra page so if I just go uh, up to the top in, and then insert a where's section breaks page break now I've added an extra page break that gives me an extra blank page and now chapter 12 starts on page 183 as I wanted now I need to go through the rest of the book and double check that the rest of them are all on odd pages uh, but I'll do that in my own time so that was the last of the problems that you sometimes come across um, that that the the section breaks don't necessarily work exactly as you want them to so that's the last thing that I need to fix or oh, one other thing that I'll try and fix if I've got time is actually it's not a problem now okay so that's it I hope that's helped we've got um, we've got headers working as we wanted them to we've got footers working the way we wanted them to and we've got our chapters falling on odd numbered pages which when I want to upload it to Amazon's Create Space to to uh, make a paperback book um, it means everything's going to be good and, and just the way I want it. So I hope that's been of use. If it is useful, please click on the like button. Thanks for listening and best of luck with your publishing uh, endeavors. Cheers.